Hello, my name is Corin Jack from the Future Forest Company. So when we think about woodland carbon, it's, it's important to think about existing mature woodlands as well as our new planted trees. These old woodlands will contribute far more to carbon storage than a young uh, tree plantation will in the early years. But eventually these trees, once they mature and develop the habitat networks that these old trees do, um, they will become part of the ecosystem and also contribute to enhanced carbon storage in the future. So while native woodland species such as this silver birch might not be the most productive in terms of um, timber or from a carbon standpoint, they provide far more value in terms of biodiversity potential that they can contribute to these areas. Having a mixture of species is also a benefit to disease resilience and to uh, resilience towards climate change effects. So there is a bit of a push and pull when it comes to native versus non-native species in terms of carbon, but in terms of biodiversity, not the native trees provide a lot more for the long-term future of these areas.